person's buying an 18 seer piece of equipment of certain efficiencies it will show the customer how long the payback period is and uh, whether there will be payback sometimes there's not and you can you can base it upon like a standard system and a high efficiency so you can weigh these things very quickly very easily for the customer and show them with this spreadsheet so Hi, Mitch Bailey here. I want to show you this uh, life cycle cost estimate for uh, Energy Star Qualified Air Source Heat Pumps. It's on the Department of Energy's website. You can download this, uh, uh, put a link in the description. It's a spreadsheet. For contractors out there, this is a really good tool to show how much, if a person's buying an 18 seer piece of equipment of certain efficiencies, it will show the customer how long the payback period is and uh, whether there will be payback sometimes there's not and you can you can base it upon like a standard system and a high efficiency so you can weigh these things very quickly very easily for the customer and show them with this spreadsheet so contractors out there use this homeowners you can use this to compare prices between two different companies that are giving you different efficiencies because so you can check yourself because one guy's going to be touting hey you want to put in the standard efficiency the other one's going to be touting the high efficiency now what i'm not plugging in here is the maintenance cost so a higher efficiency piece of equipment can be cost more to repair down the road and to maintain so that do, does need to be factored in and you can factor in if you want to you can plug that number in uh into your this spreadsheet so let's let's get started with it so in this case here we're going to we're going to pick stockton so you can just go down here and lo and load up whatever city you live in and it's going to be general area so uh i live close enough to stockton we'll use stockton and if you look at Stockton, I'm using 31 cents a kilowatt. So you can change that. This is PG&E territory, and their their rate is right around 31 cents a kilowatt most of the time. And that might may some people in other states, because California has some of the most expensive electric rates. Uh, and I'm going to say this system costs twenty-two thousand dollars. It's an 18 sear and has a nine HPSF, uh, which is the heating seasonal performance factor HSPF. Um, the sear rating is 18. And it's a three ton, 36,000 BTUs. Now the, the first unit, the most efficient unit is uh, $22,000 installed. And I'm gonna give them a more base system, 14 sear, and it's gonna cost 18,000 installed. So there's a $4,000 difference and a 7.8 HS, H, uh, SPF, and it has uh, still 36,000 BTUs. So if we go down here and look, it'll tell you the life, how long it's gonna take to pay back. In this case, it's gonna take it uh, uh, 8.6 years for you to receive payback for that particular system because of the higher efficiency and the extra cost. What if this system though costs twenty-four thousand dollars? What is my payback? And if you look here, it says greater than twelve. Why greater than twelve? Because it's a heat pump, and the Department of Energy considers the lifespan of a heat pump to be around 12 years. So if it's greater than 12 years, it just says, okay, it's greater than 12, there will be no payback. In other words, you'll be replacing it about that time. So you won't see payback in the system. So does it pencil out to go to this system if it's $6,000 more than the other one? No, it does not. Uh, where, where can, what can we do to make that a little better? There's other things that you can do in the home, such as insulation and windows and stuff like that, that's really gonna benefit the home comfort and, and cut down that energy use, but um, just the straight equipment, just equipment comparison, it would not pay back in 12 years. And it gives you the life cycle cost of the system. Of course, it's greater than 12 years. Uh, air pollution equivalents, it gives you how much carbon dioxide you've offset because you've gone to a heat pump as opposed to using a fossil fuel appliance and uh, all that stuff. If you look at the assumptions, they have some assumptions over here, and this data is from 2008, so it's a little outdated. Um, and some of the criteria has changed since then. And so they use a lot of assumptions here. They, you can see the database. So in California, at Stockton, California, uh, we're looking at the um, uh, 1,158 cooling hours and 1,834 hours of heating. And this is based on EPA data from 2002. So could this be updated? It could, but it's still a great tool for contractors to show a comparison because you can you can plug all this stuff in for your customer and then just go over here and print them uh, this sheet. So 
um, uh, you'll just take it go to print and sheet looks like that they can see all the data that you just you just talked about it, it has some disclaimers in there that these are all assumptions and that this is an average and you're you may save more or less depending on how you run the system and the seasons because it can be a hot year or a cool year so either one of those things that those will make it very easy for you to show the customer what the cost difference is and what the energy savings use this calculator link going to be in the description and i hope you like the video please like and subscribe and uh, hopefully uh, you'll see me on the next video thanks for watching